writings from Jordanian ruins, carbonized papyrus scrolls from the base of Mount Vesuvius, papyrus fragments extracted from the carcasses of mummified crocodiles, papyri documenting the teachings of an anti-Nicene Christian scholar from Alexandria, the optical process that allows for enhanced analysis of these ancient treasures is centered at the Ancient Textual Imaging Group in BYU's College of Humanities. Some ancient inks are more visible under infrared light, which the naked eye can't see. Multispectral imaging uses glass filters to block undesirable light wavelengths, letting only specific wavelengths reach a camera's sensor. Well, one of the first phases was an archaeological site where they were looking at mural paintings, but then the first time that multispectral imaging was applied to text was to a set of scrolls that were carbonized in a fire at Petra. BYU's multispectral imaging work has led to collaboration on research projects worldwide. The Bodleian Library at Oxford University, the Archaeological Museum of Thessaloniki, the British Library, and the National Library of Naples, the American Center for Oriental Research in Amman, Jordan, the Shrine of the Book in Jerusalem, the University of Michigan, Columbia University, and uh, the University of California at Berkeley. We've received, it just in the past year, invitations from the Austrian National Library and, and other institutions. And due to our involvement in these projects, lots of papyrus documents have been assigned to the members of the Ancient Textual Imaging Group, actually, as editors. Graduate and undergraduate students alike have had unparalleled opportunities to assist with projects in Paris, Oxford, and Naples. We had one student win a Fulbright Award. This was a BYU master's student who spent a third year in his program working in Naples uh, in what I think was a very successful part of his studies at BYU. A couple of times we've sent small groups of undergraduates to work for short periods in Oxford and Paris and we've sent another team in two consecutive years to work at the Italian National Library in Naples. That project lasted two summers and it's regarded as a very important aspect of our research. Thanks to multispectral imaging, students have other exciting opportunities as well. If you imagine a document that is about the size of an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, it takes our camera six shots to do that so we have a high enough resolution. So in order to create that composite image so that scholars can work with what looks like the original fragment, we have to go back in and stitch all these components together. We have actually had a team of engineering students who have written software for the camera we've used. Dr. Carl Warnick shepherded senior projects that built on BYU's multispectral imaging research. The Ancient Textual Imaging Group came to me and asked for some help in creating software to manage their image capture process and post-processing. And that seemed like a perfect fit for our senior project. So we put together a set of specifications and a team of students and they worked for a semester and created the image capture software. And we had another group of students that created the post-processing software that brings out things in the images that can't be seen with the naked eye. In the summer of 2011, the College of Humanities at Brigham Young University will host about a dozen young scholars from around the world who are coming here to learn about papyrology. We will also host about a dozen significant, well-known scholars from around the world who are coming here to teach them. We think that the invitation to host the summer seminar suggests that we've developed long-lasting friendships with our peers. Brigham Young University's past research is but a part of a far-reaching commitment to continue multispectral imaging analysis. The Didymus papyrus that BYU owns in the Harold B. Lee Library is a portion of a 5th century codex. We have several consecutive leaves, many of which were scrubbed clean and then overwritten with a text in the 5th century. We know that some of the pages of our collection here have documentary text underneath them. And so the next great project I think we ought to or could be involved in is imaging the Didymus papyrus in its entirety. The Ancient Textual Imaging Group anticipates that generous, ongoing donations and grants will enable them to implement and enhance their use of multispectral imaging as they continue to light the windows of antiquity.